Hey guys, this is Tony with MagMonkey's Airsoft here. Today I've got another how-to video for you. Today I'll be cleaning and taking apart uh, as well as glue being a 1911 made by Wee Tech. It's a single stack 1911. Mag for it's right on over here. Um, so first thing first, we make sure it is clear. And we will find the little notch. There's a little notch right here. Uh, you don't want to ever go all the way back to the side catch, just like the last 1911 video I showed you. You're going to find that notch, push that down, and that's going to come out pretty easy. Then the slide should just pop right off. And you've got your lower and your upper. To further disassemble the slide, you're going to take this out along with the spring. You can actually separate the two pieces so that you can go ahead and do that. Uh, next step is to take this little lovely piece out and then you twist this off comes right on out and then you are going to slide the inner and outer barrel assembly through the front um, this particular model also does not allow for separation between the inner and outer barrel um, but you can kind of see that there's some grease and sludge in there that's going to need to be cleaned up. So uh, let's go ahead and get cleaning. I'm just going to kind of wipe everything down. Make sure that there's not too much gunk on it. You can see that stuff is already coming off. Um, you can also make sure that you're doing this anytime that you fire the gun. Even if it's only once, uh, you'd be surprised how dirty it can get. Um, just kind of like a real firearm, you would want to treat it. Um, pretty well. Anytime you fire it, clean it, lube it, put it back together. Um, and like I said, or I'm sorry, I didn't say it on this video, uh, this is not a full takedown. Uh, I am not comfortable with taking the entire lower receiver apart down to the sears and whatnot. That would be more, in my mind, a deeper clean. Uh, but this is something I do anytime that I use a gun, anytime I get a gun new, if I get it used, I always want to do this before ever using it uh, in a game because you just don't want to take anyone's old gun out and expect it to work. Uh, you always want to make sure you've done what you can do to make that gun functional uh, before you trust yourself on it. Um, you know, sidearms for people tend to be a weapon of last resort or a weapon to clear rooms with. Um, there's many, many uses for sidearms. Some people do run them as primaries. Um, I've done that myself. I have to say it's a lot of fun. If you haven't done it, you should definitely give it a shot. Um, but you definitely want to make sure that if it is a backup weapon for you, that obviously that your backup needs to work. Uh, otherwise it defeats the point of having it, you know. Um, so there is that. Definitely want to do this. Uh, Hop-up unit is located right here. It's this little flywheel. You can adjust it with a nail or a small screwdriver. It's pretty easy. You know, pulling it back, I think it sets it up. Pushing it down forward like that makes it down. Generally keep mine a little bit more towards the back as I run a heavier weight BB in my gas pistols. I highly recommend that you do that uh, just for more consistency. Uh, as well as extending your range. Yeah, you have a decrease in velocity, but honestly, that's worth it um, for the range. Plus, you know, it's a gas blowback pistol. It's not going to be shooting super fast anyways, so, you know, I'd rather have the range, in my opinion. But that's just me. Definitely wouldn't recommend using anything less than a 2.5. I generally use 2.8s, both in my rifle and in my pistols. Um, but I've seen people and have had teammates too that go up a step to like threes or three twos. Um, so it's definitely something you can do. Um, it's just a matter of what your personal preference is, what your budget for BBs are, etc., etc. Um, so basically, you're just going to clean everything as you would normally. Get all the gunk off of there, even the little parts like this, um, the springs. You definitely don't want to put too much tension on. Just a nice little winding through like so. We'll take care of most of the gunk. If it's really, really dirty, I'll give it a second run through, which it's actually fairly dirty. So I'm going to go ahead and give it another run through just to get any excess gunk off. 
of it and voila still got the lower receiver to clean um, you know and definitely don't be frugal on the paper towels I'm just trying to be a little eco-friendly here as I have two other pistols to clean this evening so yeah um, so basically you're gonna just clean it until you can't see any gunk coming off of it anymore make sure you get your fingers down in there um, get into the nooks and crannies and stuff you know someone with smaller fingers than you awesome this is a great time to have them help you uh, no really like kids are awesome for cleaning some of the stuff they really are um, they do a great job because they can get into the tighter places that I can't uh, however for that you can also use q-tips to get down in there uh, I also recommend that you use q-tips which I'm going to do it right now while I've got the barrel apart to clean your barrel um, just be gentle when you're going at it from this direction because you're going to have your hop up rubber there and you definitely don't want to tear that so just be gentle get it cleaned out see so yeah there's pl plenty of gunk in there i uh, definitely recommend that you clean both sides of the barrel you'd be surprised yeah see you get some gunk off even the front um, and all the actions happening back here so um, highly recommend that you do that you know uh, do not though under any circumstances put any oil of any kind down your barrel yes it might make it shine and look pretty clean I'd rather have a slightly dirty barrel than to put lube in there because it will help swell the hop-up bucking like you would not believe and a swollen hop-up bucking equals bad news you can have GMs uh, with that leads to major malfunctions mechanically within the gun um, you don't want to do that okay just take my word for it I've broken enough of these things to know now I've got everything all together I'm gonna start with my dry lube this or not my dry jet lube but my direct applicant lube not the spray stuff first doesn't really matter which order you do it in and you don't want to douse this thing in it you just want to put enough that it's going to nice and easily slide and glide over the other metal parts go ahead and get my spray lube out get in here in the sears behind the hammer down in here where there's a moving piece that i can't really get to too well just give it a little dampness make sure everything's flowing the way it should work it into the safety and yeah that's pretty much all I'm gonna do as far as lube I don't want to over lube it um, so yeah to put it back together same process in reverse you're gonna have your outer barrel and inner barrel assembly go in first then you're going to follow it up by this wonderful little thing that twists on it's pretty easy it goes on like so then you got this guy slides in right here you got your spring that slides in along with the guide rod this one does not have anything directly connecting to it, it just kind of sits up against it that's not something I'm too super crazy about but hey whatever gets the job done right uh, and then you're gonna line things up make sure that you line up everything again take your piece put it back in the hole and voila there you have it just do a little quick wipe down on the outside get any excess lube or grease off and there you have it that is how you clean take apart and lube your WeTech 1911 thanks guys for watching hope you enjoyed the video please feel free to leave a like a subscribe and check out the other channel uh, we have an edited videos channel as well as this raw videos channel and give our Facebook page a like Thanks for watching.